Welcome back. Let's go over the interactives module. Well, the animations module is uh, about visualizing thermal systems. The interactive modules goes a step further. So let's see what they're about. There are several thermal systems uh, arranged in this interactive tree, in this map, and you can click on them to launch interactive. Let's start with a simple one, for instance, a, 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 a vapor turbine. This is just a simple animation of the turbine. But as you go to the interactive page, you'll see that the inlet state, exit state, and even the device variables are shown here. And, and the yellow fields are the input field. You can change the numbers there. And the green fields are the output field. Already there are sufficient number of default values, typical values for a paper turbine. You click the calculate button and you see that all the green fields have been calculated. So what is the purpose of this? This is not really about analyzing a, a turbine in, in a thorough manner. This is about, uh, you know, just to understand the turbine, to, to, to do some simulation with it. Somebody can change the inlet temperature to see what happens, or even better, click on the parametric study and use all the default variable just to suppose one wants to study the effect of say the inlet temperature on the turbine select the temperature and just say analyze and it's going to calculate say inlet temperature of the turbine as it increases shaft power is increasing instead of shaft power suppose you want to see how the exit temperature changes uh, that's kind of someone will say wait a minute what's going on there and they will understand there's a phase change going on there somehow that is affecting the the the, the discontinuity of the curve but it is it is so interactive is a tool kind of to stimulate an interest in a device so that once someone gets excited they can come back go back and forth between analyzing a device and just coming here and simulating it and see you know how things are even before understanding a device thoroughly there are some some of these uh, uh, some of these interact interactives are quite uh, deep uh, for instance my favorite one is the equilibrium interactive you launch it and over here of course a comprehensive example is there on this page uh, so you can you can go through that but I'll just quickly show you suppose I want to calculate the adiabatic equilibrium flame temperature which means in a device you know the heat transfer to be zero to reach the highest flame temperature so you select this tab and then the rest is quite simple suppose you go choose your fuel let's say methane is burning that's step number one and step number two is selecting oxidizer you can you can you know dial it up or down to from pure oxygen make it a lean mixture to sorry uh, may make it a pure oxygen to uh, oxygen deficient and air fuel you know when lambda equals one air fuel ratio is uh, you know theoretical and you can see the reaction is balanced as we move this dial up up and down uh, the reaction is automatic the reactants are automatically proportioned according to what the oxidizer is likewise there's another dial here for selecting the the excess air or lambda so we can change that we can make a reaction richer or leaner by moving it so let's say we put a little lean 18% uh, extra air in this case so that's our step number three but the default is fine step number four is you step you set the inlet condition methane and air is coming here not air yes in this case air is coming here at 298 kelvin you can change the temperature if you want to and and the chamber pressure is set over here uh, or and the of course the heat transfer is zero in our case because we want to calculate the adiabatic temperature this is the part in step seven what you do here you decide what kind of reaction you want so suppose it's, it's a complete reaction then we choose complete reaction only co2 and h2o is, will be produced in that case and there could be some excess oxygen left in this case if we do a calculate it comes up with the temperature 2097 as you can see and if instead of a complete reaction say we choose the equilibrium reaction and it automatically selects some of the typical combustion species 
And now if you do a calculate, look, the temperature changed, not drastically, but uh, because it's a lean, lean mixture, we are burning, a, burning lean. Uh, notice that when you burn lean, the CO is so little, but if we burn it rich, suppose we just increase the dial there and do a calculate, everything remaining the same, you will notice that the CO amount would be much, much, much higher because it's a rich combustion, so there is not sufficient oxygen, so CO level has gone up. You can see this also in a graphical output. So this is quite a comprehensive, uh, comprehensive equilibrium computation tool. Likewise, if you go to the gas dynamics simulation simulator, uh, you can you can simulate the flow structure. So suppose we choose a fixed geometry nozzle. You can see this this is not just a schematic. These are all correctly measured for all the all the input here. The input obviously is the reservoir condition and the back pressure. If we, for instance, increase the back pressure. We can uh, reduce the back pressure, for instance, by clicking this minus button here. You can see the flow structure changing. Uh, if you increase it, on the other hand, also see, you'll see that the oblique shock will become a normal shock, and then the shock is getting swallowed uh, gradually as the back pressure is increased. So this is kind of a quite interesting uh, simulator, I would say, a, an interactive. So give it a shot, play with them, and let us know. If you like some of those, we can build more of those. Thank you.